Oh, what a beautiful day. I really hope today's movie doesn't have an explicit title that I won't be able to mention throughout the entirety of this video. Fuck. Today I am delving back into the Nikatsu Film Library. I haven't really spoken about one of their films in what feels like forever. I think the last one was uh, Fairy in a Cage, which was a while ago. And today it is one of their um, less subtly titled film. It's Zoom Up, the fruit you make wine out of if you take the G sight which actually became a, an entire fucking franchise. Whatever your thoughts on it are, still a better franchise than Scream. <laughs> Sorry about that, my cat was playing with toilet paper. So, what is this film about? Well, it's about a... Mm, sight. So, what is this film about? Well, think of it as a kind of giallo mixed with Japanese erotica. So, yes, it's sleazy, and of course, the killer uses a uh, toy on uh, his victims. The film starts with already something I can't show nor really describe. Let's just say that you have this guy following this girl who just came out of a train station, and he hits her with his car, and while she's kind of knocked out, well, takes advantage of the situation, to, um... Do, 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 do the thing. If you catch my drift, these, uh, these, uh, YouTube regulations are really making my job uh, fucking hard. <laughs> and then we cut to meet what will be our main character of this film, this tutor who's teaching this young girl about maths, I think. Who cares? It's really not important. Because what's important is he has a very big crush on the girl's stepmother. And by that I mean, as soon as the kid leaves the room, he tries to uh, have sex with her and she's like, oh no, I'm gonna scream not here. And then he decides to leave and after that very awkward interaction, she's like, oh, let me lead you to the station. And over on the road to the station, he is like, stop teasing me, and then he brings her into an abandoned building, which was where the murder that we saw in the beginning took place. Great place for a first date. And while she tells him that, you know, there was this horrendous murder that happened right where they're standing, he diddles the, 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 the vagina. That somehow feels dirtier than what I was gonna say. And then he can't restrain himself anymore and he throws her on the bed and again does the deed. It's almost like... Anyways, during that time we see a car pull over into the abandoned buildings and they are like, oh shit, we don't want to get caught because of course she's uh, married and he's a guy. They hide from the people that are coming up. However, the people that are coming up have had the same idea as them. <laughs> and they're gonna have sex, but this time it's consensual well the 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 tutor and the 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 housewife uh you kind of saw after they were done that she might kind of have a kink so mm, the question of consent is uh, still up in the air anyways they watch them having sex and the guy isn't really g good at it the girl doesn't ever really have fun it's kind of like how us catholics do it missionary and uh, no pleasure at all and eventually she's like i want to get off too so choke me and he's like no i don't want to do that and she's like choke me you bitch and he's like okay and then while he's having sex with her while choking her he's describing to her that his um house in the country is gaining a lot of value because they built like a highway. It's really weird, dirty talk. I don't think any woman or anybody wants to talk about real estate while they're getting banged. No kink shame here, but that's just not my thing. And eventually he chokes her too hard and she dies. And he throws her into the bottom of a pit where there is already a corpse. And of course our tutor and the housewife are shocked because they just witnessed a murder. And they wait for the guy to leave to discuss about it. And they don't want to go to the police, the housewife, because everybody will know 
she cheated on her husband, which will somehow lead the husband to lose his job. This is Japan in the 70s, I don't get it. And they go on their merry way, which their merry way is for the housewife to try to be a good housewife with her husband and the husband's kid. And for her tutor, well, it's to have sex with his girlfriend, because everybody cheats on everybody. After a while, while the uh, housewife is shopping, we see that the killer is actually the manager of a grocery store. And she recognizes him, but then he sees her and she gets worried and she gets very paranoid about the pervert, that's how they call him, getting to her and, you know, uh, realizing that they saw something. So again, the housewife and the tutor will spend a large part of the movie discussing if they should A, go to the police or B, not doing anything at all. During that time, we see that the girl that our tutor is sleeping with, his girlfriend, is kind of planning this thing of blackmailing the housewife for money because they want to go on a trip to India which they also discuss their travel plans while fucking, which again, not my type of dirty talk. Let's just keep it, uh, you know, sexy stuff, not real estate or travel plans. I'm kind of all over the place. If you're new here, that's just how I roll. But the tutor and the wife, after uh, the, the tutor did a tutoring session with the uh, the, the daughter, uh, they decide to go pad drive by the grocery store where they see the killer and the killer looks at them and that makes the housewife even more paranoid. In the middle of the film, we get some exposition about how the characters are and we can see that our housewife character is kind of miserable in her situation, but it's still better than when she was single, living in a dark, dingy apartment, as she describes it. And we can see that, you know, you have the typical relationship between the housewife and the husband. He's an older guy, he basically remarried a trophy, uh, but she doesn't really like the kid, so it's kind of a complicated situation, and uh, they don't really seem to have the healthiest sex life. Why am I giving all away all of those details i don't know that's not why you guys are here it's not for family drama it's for lots of titties and uh murder lots of murder speaking of which there's another murder but not by the grocery store manager because ding 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 red herring number one is not actually a killer he just accidentally choked a girl to death. The real killer is still out there. And for some reason, the guy, the manager, returns to the scene of the crime and sees a murder happen, which the murder is done with acid inside female genitalia. Now, I didn't describe the first murder because of YouTube's strange guidelines, but that was also pretty extreme. Let's just say it was a light bulb and a kick to the stomach. So the real killer is kind of a psychopath. And our grocery store manager is just stuck in between the real murder and, you know, the couple, well, the tutor and the housewife thinking he's actually the killer. So it's this kind of very interesting cat and mouse game between the tutor, the tutor's girlfriend who's trying to blackmail the housewife, the housewife trying to keep her cool, uh, trying to keep her relationship, and uh, still wanting to have sex with more people than her husband. And all of this leads to the grocery store manager following the housewife to her house and you know at this point what they do not really consensual but i think the, the the lady that's kind of her kink so she takes the decision to go see the tutor and basically that's where the tutor tells her that he's blackmailing her and she's like oh i have the money but i left my credit card at my house let's go to my house and then on the road there she stops the car have a quickie with him and murders him. Drops the body at the same place with all the other bodies, which at this point is a lot of bodies. And then we have this very romantic scene between the grocery store manager and the housewife basically telling each other that they're the same and they're meant to be. During that time, the tutor's girlfriend kind of figured out that something was going wrong, so she leaves to go find evidence that the housewife killed the tutor. But going there on a moped during a rainstorm, she meets the real actual murder, and that's the end of the film. We kind of assume that, you know, she got unalived too. <laughs> so, what did I think of Zoom Up <coughs> site? Which, by the way, there's actually an alternative title that's less explicit. It's 
zoom up murder site, but it just doesn't. It just doesn't bite as much. So my return to the wonderful world of Nikatsu Roman Porno and I really enjoyed it. It is very bleak, it is very dark in its theme and cinematography. I mean you barely see anything during the night scenes but it's kind of intentional because you want to, you know, you want to feel what the characters are feeling and you want to see what the characters are seeing so you're not sure, you know, if they're actually seeing the killer or if it's the actual killer. And honestly, the twist of being an accidental murderer and a real murderer, which, by the way, the real murderer never even gets noticed by any of the characters because they all think it's the grocery store manager that did all the murders. It's kind of a brilliant murder mystery kind of film, but with a lot more sex, because it's still a Roman porno film, which required uh, lots and lots of titties in pretty much every scene almost that's why there wasn't a lot of footage used in this review plus it's so short it's 67 minutes honestly it's a good way to spend an hour if you're already a fan of the nikatsu titles that i've previously talked about why shouldn't you give this one a shot too because it's it has some qualities you know good cinematography good audio uh, good score and it's uh, slightly different than the period pieces or the shibari films I've di discussed previously. So that was it for this week and see you guys next time.